Hey team, this is Nathan from RunDreamAchieve.com. Today's topic, I wanted to cover some California International Marathon tips with you all. The, I know there are a lot of athletes out there that uh, are either considering running the California International Marathon or have run the event themselves. And I definitely want to touch on this particular race because um, if, if you're new to the channel and you've never heard my story before, I ran my personal best of two hours, 19 minutes and 35 seconds at the 2007 California International Marathon where I finished in fourth place and as the top American uh, that year. So it was basically the best race I ever ran in my entire career out of running for a little over 30 years now. Um, I, I was never able to duplicate what I did on that particular day, but I can tell you from my background with that particular event, because I've run the California International Marathon a few times, um, it's not what I would consider a fast course, okay? A lot of people will say that uh, if you look at the net downhill layout of the course and they'll say, well, this is a, this is a faster course because it's a net downhill course like, Boston, like the Boston Marathon. Uh, looking back, I would have never envisioned running 219 on the California National Marathon course because there are a lot of hills. There are some downhill sections uh, and a lot of uh, flat sections as well. So it can be a fast course, but we all know there's no such thing as a fast course, only a fast athlete. So yes, the course can be pancake flat, but if you're not prepared and you have not done your homework and training and prepared properly for your marathon race and to get that race pace to feel easier, no race course is fast. You are the one that's fast, so you make that course fast. Um, but, but the California National Marathon, it's a great race. It's usually held the first week of December every year in Sacramento, California. Uh, I would definitely recommend it without question. If you want to go for a fast time and, and um, be in a race where there's competition that's going to pull you along to a fast time, uh, you definitely, the California National Marathon is a great race and there are a lot of viewers of this channel who have run the race and ran personal best. Uh, a few of the athletes that I coach uh, and mentor and guide, I guess, online uh, have also run the, uh, run the race and, and set personal best on the course. But uh, one of the best things about the race is definitely the, the people, the, the organization, uh, the, the race volunteers are out there on the course to make sure that you are set up for success, that you have the uh, the fluid intake and you have the the support that you will need uh, you know that that morale uh, boost that you're going to need in the marathon distance um, definitely uh, they have a they have an outstanding um, race expo prior to the start of the race as well uh, pasta dinner all of the you know all the bells and whistles that go into a lot of major races but if you want to prepare for the California International Marathon I will tell you this you definitely want to spend some time training over hills because again it, this is a rolling course and there are a couple very sharp downhill sections but they don't last very long uh, the first mile of the race is practically downhill and then it and then it flattens out and then starts rolling again and all of you have run the race you already know what i'm talking about that first mile it's you start off running flat for about um about 600 meters or so and then it goes downhill uh, for about uh, 400 meters and then you take a right hand turn and the first mile is you know it's just past uh, you know that that flat section where you start and you gotta you go downhill you take a right hand turn and the first mile is basically just about uh, you know a few meters down the road after you take that first right hand turn and then it turns into some you know like rolling hills there are like like I said again it's very there are flat sections uh, again that particular time of year this you know December time frame in Sacramento is always beautiful usually the con the, the temperatures are around anywhere from 35 degrees to 50 degrees at the start Fahrenheit so great uh, weather conditions most most years it's definitely uh definitely great conditions to run a fast time the competition's always phenomenal in in that race i um, mean it seems like every year since i've ran the california national marathon it's only gotten more competitive you know the year i ran i ran 219.35 and that was fast enough to get me a fourth place finish um and but now it seems like you know if you run a 219 on that course now you might get in the top 30 top 25 top 30 so again, it's, it's becoming very, very competitive uh, each year. And so you have to go into that race um, 
you know, well prepared mentally as well as physically, but more importantly, mentally. You know, again, I talk about this in other videos. It's very important to train physically for your races, but you have to you have to react and 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 train your subconscious mind to do what it is you're wanting to do prior to getting to the start line. And and I think the California International Marathon is definitely a great test for any athlete that's trying to run fast, uh, run a fast race. But again, you have to be in phenomenal uh, shape, and you have to have tapered correctly for your race as well. I, you know, I think this is a, a piece of the puzzle that a lot of athletes get wrong sometimes. You know, a lot of athletes start dropping their volume and intensity three weeks out from the race, and a lot of times they don't go into the race feeling more energized, feel more tired, and they, you know, it's kind of a weird feeling because you feel like, you know, I started dropping my volume and intensity. Shouldn't I feel phenomenal going into the race? Shouldn't I feel rested? And a lot of times athletes don't necessarily get that feeling. So I recommend a 10-day taper. Start dropping your volume and intensity only 10 days out from your race. So continue to train hard physically, doing your tempo runs, your your uh, strides, your temp, your um long runs, your track sessions, and let those last 10 days prior to your main race, whether it's SIM, the California International Marathon, or it's another marathon, wait until 10 days out before you start significantly dropping your volume. You'll go into your race feeling more energized, motivated, and properly rested and properly tapered to run a new personal best for the marathon distance. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. I have resources below all of my videos, so definitely check those out. Uh, training plans that I've created, running courses that I've created, as well as monthly uh, coaching options. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I have a $27 per month option and a $97 per month option. Uh, so definitely check that out as well on RunDreamAchieve.com. Um, other things to keep in mind with the uh, California International Marathon is, uh, aside from definitely being open to the fact that even though it looks fast and if you look at the, the course layout it kind of just kind of gradually goes down it's very deceiving um like i said there it, it's not just flat the whole way and it's not just downhill the whole way you have a lot of ups and downs on that course and so um when you're running up the hills, you know, if you want to focus on a specific pace, if you're trying to say break a, a four hour marathon, you know, you have to hold that 909 mile pace. So as you're going up those hills, do the very best you can to maintain the pace and, and not necessarily speed up, but maintain the pace. If you're feeling phenomenal, then, then go for it, but also watch how you're pacing in that race as well. California national marathon is, uh, more flat and, uh, even paced on this on the second half than the first half the first half has more uh hills and more rolling terrain uh than the second half and again i haven't ran the california international marathon since 2013 that was my last attempt the last rate the marathon race that i ran i ran 232 when i was 37 in 2013 i ran my pr in 219.35 in 2007 when i was 31 years old so uh but from what i remember of that race the second half is definitely more flat and evened, uh, evened out in terms of terrain as opposed to the second half. Now, the two major uh, parts of that race where there are, like I said, some significant downhill sections is the first mile and right after you pass the 10-mile mark. As you're, as you're coming up on the 10-mile on the mark, you're going to take a left-hand turn, and then you're going to take a right-hand turn after you pass the 10-mile mark. And then you're going to have a real sharp downhill section that last, from what I remember, it was, a, it was about 300 meters to 400 meters downhill. And then again, it flattens out and it's up and down again. So SIM, i.e. California National Marathon, is a very fast, it can be a very fast race as long as you're prepared to run fast. Um, and I definitely recommend it definitely for athletes that are trying to get a, you know, either a Boston Marathon qualifier or they're training for trying to get a uh, Olympic trials qualifying standard, great race to go after because again, the competition is there. The weather conditions are phenomenal. Almost every single year, it's, it's very rarely is it extremely hot uh, in Sacramento in December. So if you want to go and run a fast time, as long as you're prepared to run fast, uh, California National Marathon is definitely one of my top picks. I mean, d definitely the other top picks I would recommend is, is Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Berlin, London. But London has a lot of a lot of uh, turns as well. But Berlin, without question, you want to run the fastest possible time you can on the flattest possible course. I would recommend Berlin 
or Chicago. Chicago is again a very fast course as well. So if you're here in the states, uh, you know, going to Chicago would be much easier on you in terms of flying, uh, as opposed to going all the way over to Berlin, Germany. So, but yeah, that's kind of what I want to share with you in terms of, uh, um, you know, the California International tips, California International Marathon tips, and 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 some of the things you need to think about. Make sure again, regardless if it's sim or it's another marathon, that you're you're really paying attention to hydration in this race. Again, the marathon is not a 5K or 10K, so you can, you, you might get away with that, you know, not drinking that much in a 5K or 10K, but in the marathon, you have to take that seriously because your body is definitely going to be relying on those additional calories that they desperately, desperately need in a race of that distance. 42.2 kilometers, 26.2 miles. Um, you, you need that, that nutritional uh, focus throughout the race. So again, marathon success comes down to a lot of factors and you have to do it all correctly. Proper rest, uh, proper hydration practices in training uh, so that you don't make the mistake of not drinking enough in the race itself. Make sure that you're dropping your water bottles out about every three miles in your long runs and practice ingesting enough fluid. Find out how much fluid your, your stomach can ingest and take in training so that when you get to the race, you won't make the mistake and you'll have an idea of how much, uh, you know, your, your stomach can withstand. So I can go on and on about, uh, the marathon race and, and, and event and a lot of other topics. So I'll, I'll leave it here, but I definitely want to hear your, um, if you've run the California national marathon, leave your tips below in the comment section, uh, for other athletes that are maybe thinking about it as well, that, you know, hearing it from another athlete that has run it maybe more recently and what you experienced in the race, I think would be very helpful for, uh, the athletes that are watching this video and uh, considering running a California National Marathon. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Again, check out the uh, resources below all of my videos. Uh, like this video, share it. Uh, it helps the, the Google, you know, the, it helps the YouTube algorithm and more athletes around the world to see these videos. So I wish you all the best in uh, your California International Marathon preparation or regardless what event you're going after, I wish you all the best and I will talk to you all in the next video.